who is a candidate for lung transplant are those patients with uh, lung standing or any stage lung disease. Uh, those patients who have received already medical therapy uh, or a maximum medical therapy and they start deteriorating or declining physical activities. The majority of them are classified between diseases, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, patients with emphysema, patients with cystic fibrosis, and patients with pulmonary fibrosis, as well those with some form of congenital diseases from the heart that can alter the pulmonary resistance and create pulmonary hypertension. So uh, patients with emphysema, uh, those are the majority of, you know, of classes of patients that qualify for lung transplant. So the process to get a lung transplant uh, will initially will be by a follow-up by a pulmonary doctor or a medical internist in which they will diagnose any specific disease of the lung and they will treat the patient as, as such. They will uh, perform also the evaluation and testing like CT scans, MRIs, pulmonary function tests, uh, functional tests, and then and when they realize that the patient has lung disease and they treat it as such and there is no improvement, that's probably the initial uh, journey to be a lung transplant candidate. At that point, probably they will refer to our center. That's when the patient is presented to a multidisciplinary approach that, uh, you know, with multiple visits and evaluations by the surgeons, by the pulmonologists, by the cardiologists, the gastroenterologists, and all other that they are involved in the initial evaluation for candidacy of lung transplantations. Once you are on the transplant list by the UNOS, which is the federal agency that allocates organs, they will give you a lung allocation score. And that score pro properly places you on the transplant list. Higher score are patients with urgencies, but that doesn't mean that you have to be urgent in order to get the transplant. Sometimes patients are very stable at home. There is no urgent patient at that point on the list in the local selection, and you can get, you could be the recipient of an organ, even despite that you don't have a high level of a score or long allocation score, and you be a stable at home. After you are a candidate and you get the offer, there is a possibility that you can get a single lung transplant or a double lung transplant, and that's predetermined according to your disease, your age and different factors. But it, even despite you get a single or double lung transplant, you will increase your lung function capacity up to 60 to 90 percent. So there is always a good chance that obviously you're going to get off the oxygen and you will be able to perform a normal quality of life. Lung transplantation gives the opportunity to patients of the freedom, the freedom of life. Once the transplant is settled in, the majority of them get wind off the oxygen and give the possibility to develop a normal life. You can go to the mall, you can go to the beach, you can go to your gathering, you can go to the family reunions. There are patients that even they jog, they go to the gym, they go back to work. So the quality of life is, is with a good chance that you will get improvement with a good lung function. RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together.